I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. If God already knows what we're going to pray, why do we pray? That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. Get our app. It's on all available platforms. Just search Higher Things Dare to be Lutheran and donate your tax-deductible gift to higherthings.org slash giving keeps us filling the ears of the youth of our country and the world with the gospel. They need this gospel in these dark times. So it was a question in Bible class. It's an excellent question. God knows what we need before we ask him. So why does he ask us to pray? Well, first we pray because he commands us to pray and promise us to hear us. Um, he tells us to pray. It's a second commandment thing, to call upon him in every trouble, pray, praise, and give thanks. Um, also, ask your parents. What I mean by that is ask your parents why they like you asking for things rather than them just giving you things. Um, what I mean by that is, even though God knows what we're going to ask for before we ask, even though he knows what he's going to do in order to be such a God as to save us, even though he knows that he loves us in the giving up of his son and he will give us anything that we need to support this body and life, he still asks us to ask him because he loves to hear from us, because he loves us, Calvary, Easter much, because he cares for us. He wants to have a conversation with us. He wants to have a, a relationship with us. He wants to love us and show us that he loves us. The same with your parents. Your parents make sure that you're fed, clothed, and all of it. They make sure you're taken care of. You know, they like to be thanked. They like to be loved. Even though they sit on the edge of their seat waiting to take you to all the different places that you turn them into the human, their, the family Uber, and um, the carpool commander of the universe, they still love to hear from you. God likes to be thanked. God likes to be praised. God loves, but more than that, God loves to give you gifts and for you to know that he's the gift giver who gave up his son. So God, who knows everything, desires to hear from you. It's not that you have things that he doesn't want to hear. You do, those are called sins. Or that you ask for bad things, you do, and he doesn't give those to you because you're full of sin. But he, he wants to be your God and for you to be his child. And so he promises to hear you. And so we pray, asking God as dear children, ask their dear father, certain that no matter what we need, he's going to give it to us before we even ask. Because that's the kind of God he is. And in so praying, we learn and are taught by him that Man doesn't live by bread alone, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. That we are not self-sufficient in this life, that what we have is from God. And it comes to us as gift, by grace alone, received by faith alone. Great question. If God already knows what we need before we ask, why ask? He's commanded us to pray. He's promised to hear us. And he's a loving father who loves to hear from his children. I don't understand half the things that my sons say to me. It's a true story. They know this. They don't need a video to tell them that. But I listen to everything they say to me because I love them, because they're my children. The same with God. He listens to everything, even though he knows what he's going to say, even though he knows what you're going to say. He just loves you, and he wants to hear from you. In Jesus Christ. In Jesus. That's the important thing. I'm Pastor George Barkart. And this has been another Higher Things video short.